Hey guys, it's Robbie. Thought I'd give you guys a quick little walk and talk. I'm here with Kitty and we're just kind of hanging out here in Patia on Beach Road. And uh, quick little topic we got asked about, I got asked about is to give a budget video of that thousand dollar budget, of a thousand dollar budget. So I'm to give a budget video of a thousand dollar budget. Is it possible to live here in Patia for a thousand dollars a month? So we're gonna talk about it. And again, we're on Beach Road right now. You got the umbrellas out. The tourists are starting to come back. Kitty's starting to look beautiful. She always looks beautiful. But the sun's out. The weather is epic. And is it doable on a thousand dollars a month you guys i might catch a lot of flack for this video because you guys might say oh it's just another one of those guys pitching a dream for a thousand dollars a month well is it doable and the answer is absolutely yes you can make it on a thousand dollars a month but your lifestyle is not going to be that great but we're gonna tell you how you can do it and how much things cost. And uh, I'll put prices down below as we're talking about it. But you can stay literally in Jomtien or Patia for, Kitty, what's what's a cheap rent? What was the, that building that was 6,000 baht? Do you remember 6,000 baht? Uh, Where Mike and Gracie uh, stay? Lumpini. Lumpini Park, that was it, on no, Beach Road. Um, the Lumpini Park had the uh, mini price. Yeah. The, um, but the cheap room was 6,000 baht. Yes. So 6,000 baht, I'll put that down below. So that's 200 bucks. And that's pretty cheap. And you guys, we're talking about living here. To move here, it's a whole different budget. You need to have, you need to get your visa, your insurance if you want medical insurance, your driver's license, all that kind of stuff. That's a whole different thing. But for a monthly budget of $1,000, that's what we're talking about. So now we've spent $200 staying at Lupini Park. The hotel room isn't all that big. Excuse me, the condo is not all that big. It actually will feel like a hotel room, but it's not all that big. Um, then you gotta figure, let's figure in uh, utilities. So our electric bill is about, is our electric bill how much is our electric bill? About 1,200, 1,200. Does that sound about right? Uh, it could be in my room. Huh? Yeah, in our room. Um, 1,200. One the 1,200. Yeah. No, sorry. Sorry, guy. Okay, I said something wrong. Uh, my, electric, uh, my electronic bill, the, this month, 900. Uh, 900, and yeah. I'm here, and yeah. I like the air con. Yeah. Cool, and we have a bigger room. Not forget that we go to so, Bangkok five days before. We'll just say it's a thousand baht for electric. Before or oh, two thousand baht so much. Yeah, we'll just say it's a thousand baht we for electric. Say. We'll put that price down below. So right now we're at uh, like seven thousand baht. How much is water? We got to pay for water. For water, maybe um, two hundred baht. Two hundred baht. So we're talking six bucks. For the month for water bill. Yeah, uh, they call it now when you use mud, okay, the bill too much. If you not use mud, not mud, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, guys, we're sitting about wow. 7,000 baht 200. So, we still got a long ways to go. We've only spent, I don't know, 300 bucks, if that, just living with your, your accommodations. What's cool about Lumpini Park? is it's right next to the bts on beach road so it's really nice uh to have that to have the bot bus or the song towel where you can access and if you guys don't know what that is we're gonna show you one right now it's a little blue pickups that drive around and you just give them a 10 bot coin and you pretty much can go throughout town now they have routes they take so you're not telling them, hey, take me here. No, you gotta hit the buzzer, all that stuff. So that's one right there. That's what a bot bus looks like. And to get around town, you're looking at, again, 10 bot each way. And uh, 
for you guys out there that want to know about soy six here it is boom infamous soy six what do you guys think beautiful soy six getting ready for tonight's party so but we're gonna continue to walk beach road i'll have another video of soy six so guys we're at the hotel we've talked a little bit about transportation but you can rent a motor scooter for as low as 1500 baht a month which is about 50 bucks um, and that will get you by for the month uh, you will need to buy fuel for it so you'll spend maximum 500 baht for that month so we'll say total transportation is 2000 baht which is $60 or right about there again I'll put the prices prices below you guys see how much things cost so I think we're at like almost 10,000 baht now and then you're gonna want to spend the rest on food and going out and to only have 10,000 baht for the month for food going out might not be that much for some uh, it really depends on how much you drink some of the stuff you want to do but again is it doable on a thousand dollars usd a month again the answer is yes um, i hosted or i helped somebody go through that for a three-month stay just this past year where he Hola, spent man. oh no no thank you My bad. My bad. Oh. uh where he spent a thousand usd a month he basically gave me a thousand of his dollars i booked him a nice room booked him his scooter transportation and then he had money left over for food and all that stuff so i know it's doable again is it realistic my opinion no it's not a good lifestyle my budget and i take care of kitty so she doesn't have to work i spend about two thousand five hundred dollars a month and i own a scooter and that's about that's a realistic number and if you're coming here on vacation dude don't don't spend 1000 don't don't settle for 1000 baht if you're coming here on vacation you're definitely going to have some spending money to go out um uh, maybe go to see a club or go do something fun so where are we at with our time here is that it kitty you ready to start walking back yeah so guys we're on patia beach road you can see the umbrellas here and they rent out these chairs here how much is it for a chair 50 baht how much oh 50 baht small chair and how much is a big chair uh-huh at the top how much is that one 100 baht 100 baht 50 baht for and it's all day wow good deal and then you have coconut, coconut and drinks. Drink. How much are coconuts? Coconut 60 baht. 60 baht for a coconut yeah. and then Coking, 30 baht. 30 baht. Oh, uh, 30 baht, Coca-Cola 30 baht. And then and you the guys go get food if I order. Baht, yeah. yeah, if I order food, they'll get food for you. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. What's your name? Him. Him. You mind to be on YouTube? YouTube. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah. So you could actually enjoy the day here for 200 baht. Yes. And food get food, food, get a nice chair, and hang out. So thanks, Fayan. Yeah, thank thank you. you. All right, let's walk that way. We got a couple minutes left. And there's the base. If you guys want to know where I'm at. And then the Hilton, right over there, the big hotel over there. And you can see they've redone this whole walkway. Beautiful. If you guys have watched been to Patia before. But yeah, you guys can get one of those umbrella chairs. So a thousand baht. You can do it. Come to Thailand. Again, it's possible. Not the best lifestyle. I budget 2500 And uh, I stay pretty much waterfront. And uh, and I'm usually under budget. I'm usually under budget and I travel, I do stuff, I don't just sit around. And a big thing, how I save money compared to a lot of you guys, or a lot of guys maybe watching right now, is I don't drink. So if, if I have a drink, it's 
one every couple months. So I'm not going out to the bars and clubs. And when I did, you definitely can drop some coin there. Um, I went with a buddy of mine not long ago. And, you know, he dropped six, uh, 2,000 baht easily, which is 60 bucks on drinks and hanging out with people. And if you're buying lady drinks, all that stuff, that's really where your money starts to go away, if you know what I mean. But I got my lovely lady right here. What do you guys think? Anyways, guys, that's it. I think I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys like this one take video. I'm not doing any edits, nothing on these videos. I'm going to try a different series. Um, the whole one take series where it's one take, give a topic and a 10 minute video. Anyways, till the next video, till the next one take. See you guys soon. Bye.